I just feel like Supergirl just has like a, she's pretty badass, but she's also like pretty fun and normal and goofy. And I feel like we could probably get on the dance floor and we would do pretty good. If I had a dead body that I needed to bury, I would call Sophie Moore because she keeps a secret. She's also strong, so she can probably shovel a hole deep enough that will not be discovered by people. I would call Alice to help me <laughs> bury a dead body. She's done it already. She knows what's up. Uh, I need someone that's experienced and a little crazy. Farewell, Mr. Caterpillar. I would definitely call myself to bury a dead body. <laughs> Alice, not me. I don't bury dead bodies. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I think Alice is really good at that. <laughs> um, <clears throat> Alice, she's just got these little snarky ways of how she kind of gets things done. Yeah, I'd want her on my team. <laughs> I would rather have a Batwoman back me up in a fight, Judicia, for sure. She's badass. Boots. Oh, actually, Sophie's also really badass. Oh, can I have both? Because they're both badass in real life. So you know what? Both. My answer is both. I love Batman. I just love the fact that his main superpower is the fact that he's just a very courageous human being who actually has empathy to save and help others. I would have Ryan Wilder back me up in a fight. I'm bulletproof, bitches! Because she is street smart and she's incredible with a bow staff, then I would get out of there and let her clean it up. I would have Supergirl back me up in a fight. She can fly, she's got laser vision, ice breath, super strength. I feel like whatever the situation is, she could handle it. <laughs> the person that I would want driving the Batmobile would be Luke Fox, because even though he's the gadget guy, he knows the Batmobile the best. I mean, come on. <laughs> I would have Luke drive the Batmobile. <laughs> he'll know all the turns, he'll know all the little tricks, how we can blow things up and go through them. Luke would feel the most comfortable doing that, but also I would, would want to be inside the Batmobile. Here's a sentence I've never said before. Mary Hamilton needs to drive the Batmobile. She'd do it in style, A. She would respect the vehicle, B. And there'd be some fast and furious ferocity sort of moment happening that I think the world would appreciate. Do Gray, drive the Batmobile in an emergency. I feel like he's both a responsible and rapid driver. If I were to have a duet partner in a musical episode, it would have to be uh, Cisco, Carlos Valdez. I heard that he is actually a phenomenal like singer-songwriter in real life. I feel like Mary needs a solo, like center stage. Oh, I've had a few of these. Withdrawn. But if she had to have a duet, I feel like a Mary Hamilton, Luke Fox duet would be would be really, really funny. Supergirl, because I love Melissa. She's really sweet. She's pretty badass, but she's also like pretty fun and normal and goofy. And I feel like we could probably get on the dance floor and we would do pretty good. I would rather have Cameras be my duet partner. She's right. And you know what? He wouldn't even be my duet partner. I would just get him to sing for both of us. <laughs> he could do both our parts. <laughs> if I could Freaky Friday with one character from Arrowverse, it would be Flash, because I want super speed for a day. I would travel everywhere. Like literally, I would go to every country that I wanted to go to in a day, because I can't. Actually, this is easy. I would rather pull a body swap with Megan Tandy in real life because her body is banging. <laughs> I, I would like to be Alice for a day and just have no cares in the world. That would be nice. I would have Mary dress me for a red carpet because she is, I mean, you've seen her outfits. I feel like, you know, her character is all about fashion. And I think in season two, she actually gets even more clever with her outfit styles. Of course is Mary Hamilton. I mean, that girl's wardrobe is absolutely insane. And if she would dress me, I think Sophie would be looking pretty good. Mm -hmm. Seriously, Gigi and Bella could not even get their hands on this yet. I would rather have Nicole dress me for a red carpet 100%. She pulls anything off. Like you would see it on the rack and you'd be like, I'd never buy that. And then Nicole puts it on you're like, no, seriously, where'd you get that? I need to buy it. This is a huge risk. I'd be definitely like throwing the dice, but I think I would 
Ask Alice. I've never looked good in red. Despite her homeless, sort of transient vibe she has going on in Gotham, she can turn out a look. I really love Alice's regal, timeless, flashy sense of style. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I had to choose Felicity from Arrow. I just feel like not only will she get the tech and she know how to wipe it really quickly, but I feel like she'd be quiet about it. You're the last person on earth that gets to give that lecture. I feel like, you know, I feel like she's done things like that before. We kind of just be like, this is between you and I kind of thing. <laughs> I actually would have Dugray do that. <laughs> I don't trust anyone else to look into it. Because first of all, Dugray, he doesn't really know what he's doing, but that's also why he would be very, very good for it. You just show him like the little basic things and then he'd be like, uh, yeah, I'll do this. And then you might not be able to find it ever again, but Dugray would be great. I would trust Luke Fox to delete my browser history 100%. He would make sure there was like nothing on there, you know? Yeah, Luke Fox. Luke Fox, because I feel like he would know what he was doing and then bury that, and lock it down with a key and then throw it away. Well, I mean, okay. So if I needed a plant sitter to watch my beloved plants, I think I've got the best of both worlds in Javicia and in Rachel because they both have a green thumb. They've been so wonderful. They've actually been helping me to figure out how to get my own plants to survive. I would have Javicia look after my plants. I feel like she has a real green Thumb, and she would really care for my plants the way that we both like neurotically care about our plants. <laughs> it would have to be Javicia or Rachel because I feel like they both are the same person. When it comes to plants and animals, they're both like, love them, save them, grow them. I am not great with plants. I would show you mine, but it would be embarrassing. And Rachel actually gave it to me. So it would have to either be Javicia or Rachel. Rachel Scarston and Javicia Leslie love plants. Javisi actually like grows vegetables here up in Vancouver. Rachel, she has like sort of homes all over the world and yet she manages to keep all of her plants alive, which I think is such an underrated skill because every time I go back to an apartment that I haven't been in <laughs> for six months, everything's dead except the cactus. Everything, everything's dead. So I can't be trusted. But I have kept this incredible snake plant behind me alive. And it's it's not mine, so I'm like renting this apartment. And I'm really, really proud of how glorious she looks. 